What's the next step of this pattern? Okay, looks to me, instead of beginning with just one row of two blocks stacked horizontally, the first step already begins with two stacks horizontally. And then in the second step, I can see three such sets of blocks. In the third step, I can see four. And so in the fourth step, I bet I'm gonna see five. So where do I have five sets of those two blocks? Let's check our work. Plus 15. What shape is added at each next step? So this time we want to think about the differences between the steps. We were saying each additional step, we were adding a row of those two blocks horizontally stacked next to each other. So I think we can be confident we are adding on these two blocks here. Plus 15. And then we can click continue. The same two square shape is added at each step to make a staircase. That's a reasonable way to describe that. How many squares are going to be in the fourth step? Well, I have a couple choices I could make. One, I can literally just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, going all the way up the stairs. I can also look at the results here. Two, then four, then six. What's going on? We're counting by twos. Let's click eight and check. Plus 15. How many squares are in the fifth step? Well, again, I can keep counting by twos. Two, four, six, eight. 10. Definitely would not select 9 in this case. Don't see any odd numbers creeping up as we keep adding two blocks each time. Now how many squares are in the 11th step? Okay, tricky. So I might be thinking 11 is an odd number, Tim. Didn't you just say we shouldn't be worried about odd numbers? Of course we can have an odd step number, the first step, the third step. These are all odd step numbers, but they're not the odd results. They're not the number of blocks in each step that end up being odd. For the 11th step here, I think we can tell, oh, the first step had two, the second step had four, fifth step had 10. So for the 11th step, that's going to be two times 11 makes 22 blocks there. Plus 40. <sighs> the validation I'm getting right now is just off the charts. This is what's called a linear pattern. When you go up by the same amount each time, that common difference forms a linear relationship. And this particular course that I've chosen, Visual Algebra, is going to walk us through the different types of patterns patterns that make for linear relationships, quadratic relationships, and even other kinds of patterns altogether. This is the Brilliant.org platform, and what you're looking at is a premium membership for which you can get 20% off right now, not just for a month, not just for three months, but lifetime access, 20% off if you will check out Brilliant.org slash polymathematic. That is, of course, the name of the channel. Brilliant.org is sponsoring this video, and I would love it if you would check out the link in description and sign up for a Brilliant.org premium membership. I leave it as an exercise to the viewer to figure out what is the next step in this pattern.